his little fill in. So you pop yourself in that spot and then you're looking straight down the lens. Little Philippe. <laughs> That's what he said. But I know, guys, in this stadium, I know especially in this one, the guys who want the ball, he doesn't want the ball. Now we're taking over. De Bruyne! Another gem of a goal! In a gem of a game! Stop trying to make me. I always go and get my coffee in Riyadh's coffee. Next one, next one, and again. It's bigger than just the game, it's, you know, the fans, everything that comes with it. And Manchester City are the champions again. Weather in Manchester. Huh? Manchester City midfielder Fernandinho signed a new one year contract with the champions until 2022. Now it is potentially the biggest deal ever for an English player, and Sky Sports News can reveal this morning that we expect Aston Villa to accept Manchester City's £100 million bid for Jack Grealish. Oh, yeah. right. It's a bit of a blur now looking back. I'd never, I'd never even signed for a club before. Um, you know, I've been at Villa my whole life, so I didn't know what to expect. I didn't even know what you'd done in a medical, really. Ah, uh, so it's like I'm running up slopes and that as well, isn't it? Austria yeah, pre-season. That's right. Well, this is your first day of training, so... They kept, they kept that one quiet, Jack, didn't they? They did, didn't they? I just weren't clued up with, with stuff like this, cos, like I said, I'd never... Look, I mean, I'm blowing there. That was tough, isn't it? His little filling. So you pop yourself in that spot and then you're looking straight down the lens. Do you, do you call him Little Phil? Little Phil. I think he's that until one Little Philippe. That's what he said. I think he just fitted in straight away as well. Jack being Jack as well with his personality, he just fitted straight in. And obviously, I got on well with him at the national team, so it's a great time as a teammate here now. No, I've got that ready. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, was it this? Did I got this? Yeah, yeah, no, everything was... I didn't get here till, like, quite late last night, so... Yeah. Um, so I didn't end up going to bed till late, but... Uh, nah, all good, all it's worth all it. It's all the way. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to everything, so... Yeah, of course. Is it true that you didn't know the number of your shirt? No, honestly, I swear I didn't know. I'd, I'd message my agent saying, I'd love number 10. He was like, yeah, um, well, we don't know, you know, who else is going to sign, if any players at the moment there want it. It was like, but I'll ask. Oh. I didn't even know that I was going to be number 10. Yeah. Give me a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my, my day. I remember my first, did, my first day training. The England lads still weren't back from the Euros. The only two people that I had really known that was Gabby Jesus and Bernardo, because I'd had an argument with them on the pitch the year before. Um, so I had to walk up to them and I was like, you're right, like. <laughs> <laughs> he actually had one with me, to be fair. I asked him for the way. I'll come on and give him a bit. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, and, you know, that's Jack as well. He's always having arguments on the pitch, isn't he? It's always going to be difficult, you know, he, he was Mr Aston Villa and to come here for the, the amount of money that he did and the record signing that he did, um, it was always going to be difficult. There couldn't be a better place, to be honest, to, to come in and, and be a part of uh, personality-wise, people-wise, culture-wise. Are you medium short as well? Medium, yeah. Needs a double XL sock with them calves. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Join some exercise on calf raise, like. You know, just them first few weeks, you know, coming into this whole new environment, new staff, everything about it, you know, coming up to live in Manchester, come walking into this new building, not knowing anyone. Just adapting to, to the manager here, adapting to the way the lads are here, it's, it's so difficult, honestly. Uh, welcome to Manchester. This is what it's like down here. The champions of England begin their title defence next weekend, but today, as one of the dividends of winning the Premier League crown, is the annual Community Shield curtain raiser. So we start the first title and half of the team is out. Half of the team is out. And uh, complaint, zero. It's a pleasure to play the Community Shield tomorrow with Leicester. Be together inside, boys. Be together. Help each other, guys. Suffer and suffer. And there is two guys. Sam and Cole, guys, you are young because you are able to play here. It's not a present, it's because you are able to be here. Obviously, you try to win the Community Shield, but, um, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. We should point out Leicester had pretty much their full first team out, whereas City were missing a lot of the, the England players and, and others as well. So it was a little bit of a mismatch. Jack Grealish is about to make his first City appearance. The excitement that he generates every time he comes to a football pitch. Rodri, Ake, oh, he's just lost the ball. Oh, he's given a penalty. The referee's given a penalty. And Kelechi Iheanacho wins the Community Shield for Leicester City. The start of the season is always a challenge. You know, the fans want everyone ready, the players want to be ready, but the reality is that they're never quite ready at the start. It takes several weeks to get their full fitness up to speed, and so we're really flying in the autumn. Season opener for the defending champions. Champions for three times in the last four years, Manchester City. After finishing last season, go into the Euro straight away and come back straight into the new season, I think it's quite normal and human being that you struggle in the, in the, in the first uh, few weeks, maybe even, not, not just days. Young Min Song on his left foot. Looks good! It's sensational! What a magnificent goal! The champions, Manchester City, begin the defence of their Premier League title with defeating North London. For me, obviously, being sat on the bench against Tottenham and losing and getting off to a losing start wasn't ideal, so we knew we needed a reaction. We didn't put in a good performance, we needed to put that right. It was just about keep going, the, f the stuff that you that you were able to do to do well and uh, try to improve and get into a room as quickly as possible. They're obviously not in their best shape with a lot of players returning to training late after their international commitments. And... Obviously, there are a few injury concerns as well, aren't there, with, with De Bruyne and, and Foden, but I think it would be a mistake to underestimate them in any way. I mean, they were just so dominant last season, so impressive. Uh, they are very demanding on themselves on, on a daily basis in, in terms of training session and, and looking after themselves. Todo se maneja así, y no hay que buscar excusas, hay que aceptarlo, y si estás dentro, estás con todas las consecuencias. Las posibilidades antes de empezar un partido son 50%. ¿eh? Tú lo que tienes que hacer es trabajar y entrenar, que es donde viene, para aumentar la probabilidad. Es un intercambio de opiniones y un intercambio de puntos de vista. Y tú le das el punto de vista desde el portero, cosa que él no la ha vivido. Hay que analizar cómo se han perdido estos. El éxito es cómo transmitir esta información, cómo llegar a hacer esto. It is so good to be back. Today is the day when, at long last, City fans could step back into a place they call home. The Etihad Stadium is once again open for business. It's great to see everyone back, and let's hope we get to see a great football match today. I'm sure they will. I want to get entertained today, and I'm looking at goals, so I'm going to go the same as the last time, 5-0. 5-0? Yeah. OK, I'll take <laughs> that one just there. 
was so good, you know, because I was uh, was my my first start of the season. Rodri. Jesus is onside, and City have the opening goal. For the confidence, it was brilliant for me and for the team, of course. Super ball round the back to Jesus. What's the cross like? It's excellent. And somehow it's gone in off Jack Grealish. What a goal, man. My dad and coaches and stuff have always said to me, that's what we want you to do, score them little goals. You know, even my goals at Villa, they've always been like fairly good goals. So obviously that one there, you know, it was nice to just get a goal like that, really, that just, you know, bounces off, yeah. Right across the face of the goal and turned in by Laporte. So happy. You just got something different, something that the striker uh, does all the time. And, and when you do that, uh, when you score, is something amazing for the defender. It's something special and it makes you happy. And Jesus has himself another assist. It's been all too easy for the Blues. And I think that sails up for the next game, which was Arsenal, I believe, where we went on and, you know, did the same. Back to Jesus, whose delivery is excellent, and City are in front. Wonderful header from Ilkay Gundogan. Who can deliver? Bernardo Silva tries, and City are going to make it two. Ferran Torres. Grealish right inside the Arsenal box. He goes, looking for a third, and getting a third through Jesus. Torres lays it off, and then Rodri. City 5, Arsenal 0, and Ferran Torres has his second of the afternoon. Little miracle. This sends out. Unbelievable. <laughs> you stay away from that. Jake! Thank you, taxi. Il était dans l'équipe de l'année. De... Peut-être qu'il sera cette année, voilà. Tu aimes mieux Did you sleep well? Yeah, yeah, I slept like a baby. Perfect. Yeah, proficient. Just a few more. Here we go again. We try. <laughs> Kevin is just a player that uh, can surprise you at every second of the game. Uh, he sees things uh, not many of us see, and uh, obviously he's a very powerful player. He's got either shooting, passing, dribbling. He can take the ball and run like I don't know how many meters with it and, and be strong. He's a player that knows what the game needs. Manchester City defender Ruben Diaz has signed a contract extension until 2027. I've never, I've never tried to be a captain before when I was in Benfica. Since I've came here, it's just uh, the way I am. Uh, I'm not trying to impress no one. I'm just trying to to play my game and the, to play the game I, I was I was taught. We need to be a team, huh? Together, every time. Obviously, it's it's a big honor for me. It's just uh, it's just to to keep going and uh, don't don't think about it too much because these things it's it's very important that you recognize them and then you know the importance they have. But it's also important that you don't think about them too much because that might affect you. Might think you more than you actually are. 
and it's always good to keep the feet on the ground. Another day starts. <laughs> Are you a man of routine? Yes, I am. <laughs> Have you seen the um, that yet? No, I'm gonna go and see it now. It's over there, on that corner, if you will. First, first sacrifice of the day. Mm. I believe that the small details uh, will make a difference, but essentially, I think it's... You need to do whatever you believe in. There are many players here that do other stuff and, uh, and they still get the, the top performance. So they do what they believe in. I do what I believe in. And uh, I'm, that's where I'm comfortable working, progressing, being better. Uh, that's the way I get home every day and I'm like, all right, today I was better than yesterday. What a day in Manchester. Can you believe it? <laughs> it looks like Portugal. In Portugal, I had the longer drive. It feels good to be this short. Yeah. Never depending on of traffic. Yeah. This is where the energy begins to flow. Full of energy. Hi, Ruben. You're Hello. Um, would you be able to sign this? For me? Yeah, sure. And would I be able to get a picture with myself and little man? Yeah. Thank you very much. Top man. Thank Cheers. you very much. Well done last night, Ruben. Are we on camera yeah? now? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Ruben. Cheers. See you later, Dad. Do you think you'll be the first guy in? I normally am, so I guess, I guess, especially on a Sunday, I will for sure be. 8.30, 8.20, actually. Everyone probably still in bed. Don't get fooled by the sun. Cold. Morning, Barry. How are you? Yeah, good. Come on, boys. Come on. He keeps us on our toes and he's forced us probably to think differently about how we do a lot of, a lot of um, our programming, certainly. Um, he, he, he works at times when normally other players don't work and he, he has strong ideas about what he can do. And yeah, but he, he's, he's great to work with. So your first one about 20 kilos, so that's 105. Go about 80 for two reps and then do do your three reps at properly at 105. Left glute switch on. He has strong views on, 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 on what he needs, and he had certain routines that he brought into this building when he arrived first. Uh, so, yeah, he leaves no stone unturned, really. You know, he, he addresses everything he needs to address, and I think the success of it is shown in, in, in what he does on the pitch. Three, four, five, that's good. I think it's all about that. You finding uh, your, your working method. It helps my, my conscience knowing that I'm doing everything I can to, to reach what I want. But uh, I, I always like to, to say and leave it pretty clear that I don't think I'm the, the one that has the secret, uh, the secret power to, to do things. I, it's just my way and just, it's just the way I believe uh, I should do it.
78 pace. That's a fake one. How, what? How? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's the quickest person in the world. I'm gone. I'm gone. 78 pace. What? Th that's a fake one, no? That's a that's fake, fake one. Yeah, of yeah, course. That's fake, of course. Say. I thought that went. I've come in as a normal day. Um, and normally, you know, FIFA, normally leave the cards so we can take the cards home if we if we want them on our pack. And I've come down, I've seen this, I've seen the 85 ratings, so I'm thinking, OK, that's all right, thank you. And then I've looked down at pace and it was like 78. Then, obviously, Jack, Phil, Kevin was all in on it and Stonesy and, to be fair, he actually did well. No, and that's that... not me. It's not me. That's an allegation I don't agree with. I don't, I don't do pranks. What's up, Box? It's more than that, 78 pounds. 78 pace. Faster than you. I'm faster than you, Vox. It's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Who's put that on my face? Oi! Can't be bad, man. At least you're better physically than Phil. Banner. Someone's banner. Banner. Is it banner? Yeah, just your face. All the rest. You're happy now, aren't you? It was in the bin. I actually just got it out. It would have been funny if I left it in there. Right. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I've got the joke. <laughs> they didn't hold it for very long. I think they held, could have held it a little bit longer. Just want to have fun, you know. You can't be serious all the time, and um, you almost hear more time than with the family, so you can't speak all the time serious about all the stuff. I think sometimes you also know what is easy to wind up persons, like like Carl and Pace. It's very important to him, so. You know, you know, everybody knows a little bit each other's weak spots, so uh, makes it easy to, to do this stuff. A pair of clubs with big ambitions for the season ahead meet here at the King Power Stadium as Leicester City host Manchester City. It's always tough, to be honest, to come here to play against a really, a really good side. They beat us in the Community Shield, so obviously um, we need to be prepared. But obviously we will, we will try to do as well as possible to win that game. It's a low strike that goes into traffic. It's put into the net by Bernardo Silva. The offside flag stays down. And Manchester City take the lead. It is certainly a deserved goal for Manchester City. Bernardo Silva's first league goal since the end of February. What are you doing there, Pep? Just checking the top of the table. No, no, no. Message for my wife. They take the win at the King Power. It sets them up perfectly for the game against Leipzig in midweek as Champions League action returns. Okay, go! It's so important to start really well, especially at home, and, and continue the rhythm we have done the last three games. Like we were in a high, high level, and we have to continue this way. When they're getting the ball, when they're getting the ball, they attack here. To attack, when they're getting the ball, we have to make fast, fast to go forward. We cannot do the same of them. We are just in September. The finals, I think, is in May. So many things can happen. So the best way I learned from my period as a football player is with the next one, is Leipzig and try to, to get the three points. He comes, Kyle is alone, and Kyle be outside. You know, come here. Okay. Here, it's like the ball is there, come here. Here, here. Without, like a, like a holding it here. It was a big stage because it was the first group game. Uh, the Champions League is always the biggest stage of any football competition, really. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Etihad Stadium for this UEFA Champions League Group A match between last season's beaten finalists Manchester City and their visitors from Germany, RB Leipzig. Taken by Grealish, goes Ake! Goal, Manchester City! Nathan Ake! Another good ball in, oh, it's an own goal! 
And Guardiola's side are gifted a second goal here. Absolutely no mistake from Morris. Jack Grealish! Second goal in Manchester City colours for Jack Grealish. That was such a special moment, you know, my first first Champions League game. Um, blew a kiss to my family there. I remember, right, you see my knees after that. No, 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 honestly, for about four nights, I swear, I could not sleep. But, you know, it was all worth it. Cancelo! What a hit! João Cancelo with a peach. Jesus! And Manchester City hit six. Okay, well done, guys. Jackie, Jackie. Good night. Easy goal, Jackie, easy goal. Congratulations. You did a tough game, guys. Well done. To be playing and then yeah, to, to, to score, I think it uh, was an amazing feeling. Um, Something that you always wanted as, as a kid. And I was just very, very happy. Also after a difficult time at home and stuff to to do that and yeah, knowing that everyone was watching was was great. If you can talk me through the, your father and the family tragedy that you had quite close to that, obviously the extreme high of, of, of your first Champions League goal, it's, it's obviously swung a different way. Close to the game. Um, Actually been home, I think, after the national team it was, I think. Um, yeah, to see him and stuff, so it was difficult. Not the, not the best period. Um, but yeah, I was just happy to, to be able to play, still focus on that. And yeah, just to know that, that he was watching. Um, sorry. I text my, yeah, we have like a family group chat and uh, I text um, straight away in, in the group chat. And I don't know, it was just a strange feeling because the, the text I got back was was like, uh, let's let's call after. So that's the only thing they said. And then, uh, yeah, my brother said that uh, he passed away and that was difficult. So yeah, you go from, as you said, from a very high moment to, to low in a short space, for sure. When those things were happening, the manager was always speaking to me um, for me to, to go home if I needed to. Um, yeah, to, to just take any time you need. But you know, no man, I'm really good. You made dinner for me only once in 11 years. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, yeah. Yeah, that was good, though. I think Kaylee, obviously, she's, she's been with me for, for so long. Um, so, yeah, she. She knows what to do in those situations. I think I'm not the easiest to to express myself to her probably sometimes. Um, what makes it more difficult for her? Because uh, she has certain situations. I don't want to come over too vulnerable to her, if you know what I mean. So far, sometimes it's difficult, but yeah, she's always there for me, always. Every time we take him to the park, he always finds a, a pool of mud and then he just lays down in it. Everyone was like, oh no! <laughs> I was like, yeah, this happens every day. Just don't worry. He's, he's always happy. Uh, what, whatever happens, if, if you had a bad game, if, if we lost, if we won, um, he is always the first one who comes running to the door. And uh, yeah, just, you know, put a smile on your face. I do a little bit of piano now, then uh, on the side. Uh, what, like, settles me down as well. Let me, you know, think about nothing else than just the piano, what is what is nice as well sometimes to to be away from everything really. Good? Yeah. Now I'm thankful to everyone who helped me in that period and continue to do so.
After the stunning start to their UEFA Champions League campaign on Wednesday, the Blues return to the defence of their Premier League crown with Southampton, the visitors, to a sellout Etihad Stadium. It's really nice to be back. Um, we had a difficult time out, a long injury, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good now. 90 minutes almost up. It's flipped in by De Bruyne and headed into the back of the net. No, now it's in. City score. Right on time. No, the flag is up. The flag is up. It won't count. Right, OK. Let's go back to the start of the season. I was injured. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of emotions, obviously. Losing the final in the Euros. Obviously getting injured the day before the game as well. And then missing the start of the season. It's like the naughty kids at school where you separate them in the hope that... Mike... Oh, look at this. Beautiful. So I'm marching. Up, so nice and relaxed, pocket to ear. I seen it as a positive thing, obviously, working on, on my upper body and different parts of my game, one-to-one -one with a coach, so I just took it as a positive thing. Phil, <laughs> come on, just relax. Look, can we save some... <laughs> just stop trying to make me. Just put your shoes on. Obviously, it was nice to work with them a lot more than I used to as well because I try and run away when I'm playing and not get as much treatment as, as I need to. But, yeah, it was obviously nice to work on the sand as well. That, that was something new for me. And I thought when I came back, I felt sharp and, and quick, quicker, even quicker. So, yeah, I definitely came back and, and, and felt positive. Let's go. We're ready. <laughs> We're ready. Good. Liam, give him a shout. Good. Top quality. This is supposed to be a blow. If you're not blowing, I need to do more. Yeah, obviously playing with a few debuts as well, young lads, and that was special for me. And yeah, obviously I had a good game, scored and everything. So, like I said, I came back and felt felt really positive and, and sharp. Phil doesn't need much, much games to take his rhythm. Foden drills it into the back of the net. A rasper from Foden, and City lead 3-1. And it goes to Foden right across the face of the goal and Ferran Torres can't miss. Brilliant slide rule pass by Foden. Now that McAtee and Palmer, one of those who's coming off is uh, Wilson Esbrand who can't fail to have impressed you already. I just try and help him as much as I can. Just tell him to stay positive and just keep training well and and you know, you'll get your rewards from that. So, yeah, I'm always behind him and just trying to help him in any way I can. Here comes Cole Palmer, who decides to go himself and scores his first ever goal as a Manchester City player. A thoroughly entertaining match. An opportunity to see some of the burgeoning young talent that the academy continues to produce. I say not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.
Ele é só puto, tac, 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 no caco. Tac, 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 no caco. It's a huge week for City. I mean, they've got uh, Chelsea away, then they've got PSG away, and then they finish the week at Anfield, um, which is probably just about the hardest week possible in world football um, at, the, at the moment. Some guy doesn't want this. I'm playing the ball, he doesn't want this. They want in Anfield because we want this. We're going to start for me, we want this. Can they run behind this? They are so good. You know that. They are so good. And this is the challenge. This is nice. Prove ourselves again. We prove. We are good. Okay. I'm here. They are good. They run a lot, a lot, a lot. Because we play with us. With that. I hate the, the most is when you don't want the ball. I hate it. And we train every day for that. You have permission to make a mistake. You have permission to lose. You have permission for everyone. And you have permission to go upset. I won the ball. I felt like it helped us in a way um, for the season because we were playing against such great opposition that um, it just got us ready and in form. Is there any hangover, any, any score to be settled from the Champions League final? I don't think so, you know, uh, that, that's, that's in the past, you know. We, we, we don't look at what happened before, you know. We don't look either that we won the league last year, we want to win it this year. We face uh, a strong uh, team. Tough, tough opening. Uh, who wo was uh, won three games in the last season against us. We go there and uh, prove for ourselves that we can do it. De Bruyne for Cancelo, who's made a couple of yards, tracked his shot. Jesus turning and scoring. We can play good, you know. We played so good. We prove ourselves. Uh, we can do every every game like this. Quite a week ahead of Manchester City, but hasn't it begun well? Winners here at the home of the European champions by a Gabriel Jesus goal to nil. My grandparents are making uh, Belgian fries today. Belgian fries? Yeah. We want to have a big game of Tuesday for Belgian fries. Cheap day. Cheap meal. Cheap meal. Cheap meal. Cheap meal, not even. Right, come on. Come on. Cheap meal, let's be happy. you play for the for the biggest trophies you play against teams that have uh, the same quality that you have they have uh, amazing players sometimes e maybe even individually better players than you and uh, i think psg is a team <laughs> that you can that, that you can mention in this now of course when you win big games like this especially it was like semi final to go in the final you grow in confidence I think that the, the, our team improved a lot. Yeah, we go, we're going there confident, but knowing that it's a very, very top, top team with top players, the best on the day will win. This is the game that everyone has been waiting for on match day two. 
Paris Saint-Germain against Manchester City. Yeah, a fantastic team. So, what, what could I say? There's few players up front, they can do whatever they want. They can play wide, they play narrow, they can play one right, left. Uh, Messi can play right, can play in the middle. Neymar can, uh, Mbappé can play in the middle, can play left, can play right. Have to defend with the ball, guys. We have to defend with the ball. With the ball. So they, they combine really well with each other and they have the quality. So at the end, the talent, the talent cannot be stopped. The first minute, guys. The first minute. Build up, we're outside. Always together. Always go close to each other. But go out, guys. I don't want to see you here. I want to see you in the pitch. Go out. Almost came through to Neymar. And got a gag. PSG in front. Unfortunately, they don't need much to score the goals, and they did it. Mbappe through the middle. It's Messi. 2-0 to PSG. And of course, the counter-attack of them is always dangerous with the quality they have. But we did a good game. Especially the second half, we have many, like Donnarumma made. Good saves, but uh, the team was there. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. What about Liverpool, Man City? I mean, the week of death for Man City after playing Chelsea and then PSG. These are the games that you want to be involved in. These are the, the games that we relish as players playing for a club like Manchester City. If you don't enjoy them games and test yourself against, you know, some of the best opponents in the world, you're never really going to enjoy football. That's what I feel. Listen, it was just about making sure that we got good results in, in good areas, um, you know, to make sure that we progressed, you know, comfortably in the Premier League. We know how close these teams have gone before and how you know there's been a couple of points in, in these title races, so these games are massive. I think this has all the makings of an, an absolute classic. I can't wait. We finish a, a group of games that you were, honestly, and you know that an old game is an exception. An exception. Today is a game like they demand for the way they play, the maximum with the ball and without the ball. If you are not aggressive with the duel that you have done in Chelsea, for example, in Paris, there's no chance. You have to know. Within these shores, the rivalry of our day. A while since anyone but these two has been the champion of our land. I'm not a big fan to think what we have done in the past, good or bad. It will take a lot, a lot of influence in the new one. As, uh, we have enough days to to prepare, to rest, and and decrease us, our emotional impact in these two games and, and prepare this one. Bernardo Silva. Silva's gone through a full pirouette and keeps on dancing. That is brilliant for Bernardo Silva, and he's found Phil Foden, who is thwarted by Alisson. My position, my, my job is with the ball to control the tempo of the game, without the ball to help, to help press and to run as much and to try and get, and get the ball as quick as possible. That, that's what I try to do. I try to, to help the team as much as I can. If I can run 14 kilometers per game, I, I will do it. Salah's off and running, and Mane's ahead of him. It is Sadio Mane! Liverpool steal the lead! There is one thing I didn't like in Paris. Just one. After 2-0, we we'll forget. To do what we have to do. Jesus. Gabriel Jesus and Phil Foden. He rises to this occasion every time. But I know, guys. In this stadium, I know, especially in this one, the guys who want the ball, he doesn't want the ball. Now we take a note, huh? Oh, it's brilliant from Mo Salah. And still, Salah, oh, sensational! Absolutely sensational! So we hear in this stadium that you want to improve. 90 minutes, 95 minutes, 95 minutes. 95 minutes, 95 minutes. The strategy is the plan, we follow them, convince. Foden. Walker stepped over it. De Bruyne! Another gem of a goal in a gem of a game! And how pumped is he? 
Personality, what you have done all the time this season so far. Every single day we have done it. What a magic football match. An embrace of mutual respect. What a treat. Liverpool 2, Manchester City 2. The only title we don't have is the Champions League, guys, but nobody's going to give us that. Eh? Well, my ball, they don't come to give you the Champions League. Eh? Attack the space, be patient with the ball. It's good! It's good! It's turned in at the far post by Bernardo Silva! The highs wouldn't be as good, you know, if it weren't for the lows. West Ham, go through! Getting to treat me at home all the time. <laughs> it was an important game for the three points. It's going to be a red card. Rodri hits oh, it. Oh, my word. You are so good. You are so good, all of you. Fight together uh, until the end.